Hello and welcome to Modico.com unboxing.com unboxing of uh, Nokia 5800 Express Music. Um, this is the Comes With Music Edition. The reason I've got hold of one of these is basically because I would like to check out the Comes With Music service. As a Napster subscriber previously, um, I'm kind of familiar with the unlimited music download DRM WMA model. Um, it's interesting to see Nokia going down this road now and uh, I kind of want to see how it works. Um, with their devices. What we have here is the 5800 as I said um, available in Orange from free on a £25 contract and as you can see this includes a two year subscription to the Comes With Music service. Um, as long as your service is active um, you can download as many uh, music files as you like. Oops. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about this device pretty much. Um, one interested primarily with the service but as uh, Nokia's first touchscreen device I believe. Um, I'm kind of interested from that perspective as well. Okay, there's the box. You can see 5800 Express Music. There we go. Let's just go through the specifications. Um, 3.2 inch touchscreen, uh, 640 by 360, 69 ratio. Uh, Built-in stereo speakers with surround. 3.5 millimeter jack, which we like. 8 gig memory card, useful if you're downloading lots of music. Uh, what else have we got here? Just trying to see what resolution the camera is actually. I think it's. Hmm, doesn't say. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll find that out when we open the box and have a look. Okay, so opens like so. Okay, and we've got steps up the top here on what we need to do. Let me just get that view of the camera. How to set up comes with music. Number one, find the disc labelled one and put it in your PC, either Windows PC, um, XP, SP2 or above to do this. Uh, plug it in with a USB cable and enable media transfer and sign up for comes with music and enter your PIN. It seems easy enough. Got a little leaflet here that says how to turn on your handset and how to insert the SIM. Nokia music. Oh, that is the CD. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Little mini CD. Okay. So inside here, section label 2, we have a charger. Little teeny tiny connector. We have the USB sync cable. Looks like micro USB. Don't know if it is. A little sticker. Turn us to select media mode. Oh, should have muted my PC in the background really, shouldn't I? This is the thing that has my country music pin for me to sign up online. Let's have a quick look, yeah. There we go. Here's the device itself. Okay, so a little bit of orange branding there. It's a Carl Zeiss 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera. Uh, and there you go, as you can see, full touch screen. minimalistic buttons on the front. I assume that's red green. I have no idea what that button does. That's because I have no idea really how the operating system works. It's quite a nice looking device. I'm sure you'll agree. Um, decent weight to it. Oh, the connectors actually are on the top, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, battery cover. That's stylus we have down here, is that? There we go, big plastic stylus. Cover comes off like so. Yeah, our battery's already in there. Okay, let's see if we've got some colour in there as well. Uh, oh, yeah, it does appear they're going from the side. Yeah, we've got a SIM card in there, it goes in the side. I assume this other one here is micro SD. Here we go, a micro SD card in there. Okay, so we should be ready to fire it up and go, really. Okay, get back in top first. Uh, it feels quite nicely made, um, good plastics. Around the device we've got the power button, the micro USB, if it is. 
3.5 millimeter and a little power connector there. We've got whoops, there's an eardrop it. Um, got our silent uh, our slots there as we just saw. Microphone on the bottom, camera button, volume up down. I'm not sure what that does. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, just go through what else is in the box if there is anything. We have Headset adapter with controllers on it. There, we have a lanyard. We have headphones. Oh, they look quite funky. 3.5 millimeter, of course. We have an AV cable. Pretty good. We have a. I have no idea what that is. Looks like some kind of clip, lanyard type clip. Quite bizarre. A little manual there. And that's our lot. Okay, let's reconstruct the box. And then fire this thing up. Yeah, a little vibrate to confirm it's been turned on. So a resistive screen on these devices, I believe. Familiar with what we um Similar to what we used to see on Windows Mobile. It's been a long time since I've used an S60 device, I have to say. Okay, and there we go, it's up. I've not used a S60 touch device at all, so that button brings up the keypad. Okay, that button brings up the contacts. Kind of pseudo haptic feedback as you touch the screen, it vibrates. The main menu, there you go, that brings up our applications. No kind of kinetic scrolling as such. Looks nice enough. Take a little bit of getting used to. Nokia Maps there. Okay. Um, I'm going to post the unboxing on mobiholics.com. Uh, if you've got any questions about the device, uh, head over there and feel free to fire them at me. And I'll be kind of documenting my experiences as I start playing with the device. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Paul O'Brien for modico.com and unboxings.com.